My name's Brendan O'Brien, I'm with the North Coast Local Land Services in the Sustainable Agriculture team. Today I'm going to talk about the importance of taking a feed test, in particular in relation to rat bale silage. So a feed test will tell us a few things such as the energy content, the crude protein, dry matter, digestibility of that feed stuff. So the quality of the silage depends on a number of things including the parent material, whether it was a summer grass or a winter species, the time it was cut, the legume content and how well it was made. So why do we take a feed test? Well it could be for a number of reasons. It might be that you want to ensure that the silage that you're feeding to your livestock is adequate for that class of livestock and going to meet your production targets. It might be you're a seller of silage and you want to give some quality assurance to your buyers. Other reasons we may get a feed test is to ensure that it is safe to feed to our livestock. You may have concerns around, for example, high nitrate levels or prussic acid. Feed tests also help us to compare and choose the most appropriate feed based on price. Another great decision making tool is the New South Wales DPI Drought and Supplementary Feed Calculator, which is a free app for your smartphone or there's also an online desktop version. The app helps address such things as whether you need to provide a supplement and if so, how much, based on the feed on offer or the pasture in your paddock. And is the supplement adequate for the class of livestock you are feeding and whether you're going to meet your livestock production targets. It also enables you to enter your, in your feed tests and develop a ration for your livestock. So when do we take a feed test? Ideally, we want to take a feed test as close to feed out as possible. However, allowing enough time to get the feed test results back. So the rule of thumb is we take a test roughly four to six weeks after the silage has been made. However, this will depend on the parent material. That period may be shorter or could be a lot longer. To take a sample, you want to get a representative sample from five to 10 random bales ensuring you seal up any holes after you take the sample to reduce spoilage. Most samples are taken with purpose-made tools, such as this commercially made silage corer. After we get an adequate sample, we take a subsample and place in a plastic bag, squeezing out as much of the air as possible. Place in an esky with an ice brick or place somewhere cool. For installed samples, it's acceptable to freeze and send, but ideally send with an ice pack to keep chilled. So it's recommended to reduce the risk of spoilage during transit is to send the sample as early as possible during the start of the week so it allows enough time to get to the lab. So for more information on taking a feed test or interpreting feed test results or using the drought and supplementary feed calculator please pop into your local land services office.